This has got to get done. That's impossible. Mission Possible is a training initiative developed by the Los Angeles Police Department in conjunction with several community partners because we wanted to make a difference in how law enforcement and the autism community work. Stay away from the vehicle. Put your hands in the air like you don't care. The full name is Mission Possible Bridging the Gap Between Law Enforcement and the Autism Community. And what we looked at is how so many times we hear it, that's impossible, it can't happen, it's not gonna work. How do we do this? Um, and we look at the training needs of 10,000 officers just in our department alone, but when you look at Southern California and, and the rest of the state, what needs to be done to give training that matters? I can give a handout to anybody, but to really learn something, and especially to learn about kids with autism on the spectrum, you need to spend time with them. The Los Angeles Police Department wanted to be at the forefront of the mission of learning how law enforcement and the autism community can work better together. Many in the general population have an idea of autism as a children's disorder. We went from, in year 2000, one in 150 children being diagnosed with autism. And actually on the day of our autism symposium, the news just came out, one in 50 children are being diagnosed with autism. We can't tell our officers why that's happening or what, what the increase is about, but we need to tell them and have them be prepared for what does autism look like in a young adult, in a teenager, in somebody who's trying to get independence in the world and be out. And we want those kids to succeed. We want them to drive a car and get a job and do all those things. But what does that look like for the officer who's going to meet them either in a traffic stop or at a mall or in other situations? Everyone stay away from the car, step away from the car. Because the symptoms of autism can be really diffuse uh, across a wide spectrum, some people might have auditory problems or verbal uh, communication problems. Other people might have particular behaviors or sounds that they make that might be unknown to an officer. Hey, Ms. Jennifer, are you having a good day with your officer? Yes. Is he a good officer? Yes. We want to make sure that officers can respond safely, both for them and for the rest of the community, in situations involving people with autism, or actually any kind of special needs or diversity. All right, let's go check out that really awesome example. <laughs> the day starts when our officers uh, experience training that helps them understand several different kinds of symptoms of autism, or special needs for that matter. Uh, what does it mean to have difficulty with fine motor skills, or overstimulation, or sensory processing, communication deficits? What does that mean to an officer in the field? And so we have them go to multiple stations and experience those, and we have an officer debrief them at each of those stations, paying attention to what does that mean to the officer in the field. So that if an officer were to encounter somebody with these symptoms, they would have a different framework for looking at what that's like. Um, and so when we talk with our officers about giving instruction to people, maybe getting a wallet out of a pocket, mm -hmm. which sounds like an easy... We recognize that the children and families and teachers also need to know how to deal with law enforcement in a crisis situation. Our solution was to bring in a hundred kids, junior high and high school students, who are diagnosed on the autism spectrum. These kids are paired one-on-one -on -one with police officers for the day, and they get to experience hands-on what it's like to interact with a police officer. We realize that kids with autism are seven times more likely to have a law enforcement encounter for a whole number of reasons. Sometimes it has to do with bullying, uh, running away, other things associated with their diagnosis, and other situations where they're reacting to environments, maybe at the mall or at the movies, that are foreign or different to them, and law enforcement gets called in. Asking for help is sometimes a difficult thing for any of us, but especially when you have communication difficulties. By being paired one-on-one -on -one with a law enforcement officer, these kids get to see what it's like to interact with law enforcement and how to ask for help. It's really important for our officers to know how to respond, but it's equally important for these kids to know how to respond safely. When you see the lights like that, you have to move out of the way, right? 
because of <laughs> Let's move over to the side. I want to welcome each and every one of you here today. We have police officers here. We have students here. We have teachers and advocates and parents here. And we are so, so grateful to have you all in our house today. Mission Possible is a model program that's not seen anywhere else in the country with amazing results for the police partners, the student partners, and the adults in the community who were here to witness it. So it's a win-win situation for everyone. It improves mutual understanding and respect and also skill building for everyone involved. These teenagers have the heart and spirit of many kids in America today and they watch the same movies, see the same news reports, and uh, may or may not have a positive view of law enforcement. The thing that I have great hope in is I know our officers, and I know that if they get to connect one-on-one -on -one with one of our officers, their view and vision of law enforcement as a place to protect them, serve them, work with them, will make a difference. The day starts by getting paired with their officer one-on-one, -on -one, and then they go into a large room for lunch. They enjoy food together, and they'll also get their picture taken so that they can go home with a picture of them and their officer in uniform. We want to recreate a better image of law enforcement in the community. After lunch, each officer and student pair will go to five different safety stations to learn how to interact safely in an emergency. Hello? Hello, everyone, fire away. Okay. Everyone, step away from the car. Is it serious emergency? The first one is tools of the police. And they'll go out to an officer's car and get to go inside, talk about the tools on their belt, and make sure that they really understand boundaries and safety considerations, asking before you reach for something, and letting officers know what you're doing next. And you know, if you, if you say you're in the house and it's real smoky, you get down close. There are times when someone with special needs might need the help of the fire department, either from an ambulance or in a fire situation. The next station is with the LA Fire Department. We want to be sure that if they needed the services of the fire department, they would feel comfortable and confident going with them wherever they needed to go. A bit of time, and you'll learn about the many ways that the police can help you and your family. One of the favorite stations we have is How Can the Police Help Me? At this station, kids will pull different scenarios from a box and role play with their police officer how to ask someone in uniform for help. I'm here to go to the hospital. Okay. Scientific investigations is fascinating for most of us. And for kids with autism, it's not any different. ID Me is a station where we look at the science of fingerprinting, how the police use fingerprints, and they get a chance to both fingerprint themselves and add to a creative art project. Officer Simon Says plays off of the game Simon Says. And in this situation, kids are reinforced for responding appropriately to an officer and we apply it to safety situations and talk about the appropriate situations in which they need to respond that way. They work with their officer and they have a good time. An equally compelling and important part of this training is the training that we do as well for the teachers, parents, and advocates of autism. What the students are downstairs doing right now is working with their police partners with modeling and practice, guided practice, of how to interact safely. They're getting more comfortable and losing their fear of the police. Mm -hmm. They're learning safe boundaries. For these safety instructions to have the most impact, we need parents, teachers, and advocates to reinforce these safety concepts at home and at school. If they had to call 911, we want them to give the best information so that our officers can be informed and respond safely. We trained over 100 officers and 100 kids with autism, as well as over 50 or 60 teachers, parents, and advocates. The day was a great success. We could train our officers by just giving them a simple handout, but we really believe that by having them interact with the community one-on-one, -on -one, it'll make a difference, not just for this day, but for their career. We definitely need more events like this, and. It should be replicated everywhere. LA is leading the way. LAPD and the Autism Society of Los Angeles are leading the way with this groundbreaking, unique training. To move forward, we'll need continued support. We will need more community partners. And the more connected we can get, the safer we can make our communities for our kids.
if you could just have come up with a different coping mechanism to me, at least rub. After our 911 operators and police officers work with the parents, teachers, and advocates to tell them about how to respond in a crisis, Several of them will share that they also have kids with autism. And for a moment, we realize that we are all in this together. To make a difference and to make our community safer, we need each other. Autism does not discriminate between jobs. Children with special needs belong to all of us. Law enforcement shares this need and desire with the community. At the end of the day, Kids go home with a gift bag and a full new appreciation for law enforcement, how to be safe, a new set of skills, and a big smile on their face. We're happy to partner with the LAPD for Mission Possible. For us, it's a dream come true to have an event like this where the police learn about people with autism and become empathetic and take their perspective and then actually get to meet somebody on the spectrum. The other wonderful part is that we train students uh, to be safe and to prevent problems by teaching them good proactive skills like boundaries and following the instructions from the police right away. And what's wonderful about the event is that the police partners who are paired one-on-one -on -one with the students get to mentor them and help them and the students benefit from that and then the police benefit from getting to know the students on the spectrum. A day like this does not happen without a lot of partners and sponsors are really appreciated. The Los Angeles Police Foundation was a huge support for us, as well as Motorola. We had several other entities fully committed to helping kids with autism be safe in the community. The Los Angeles Unified School District were incredible in getting their kids there and supporting this effort, bringing their students and parents as well. And together, we really can make a difference. We really can make this mission possible. Thank you for coming to Mission Possible. Your participation and the training with elite members of this agency will make Los Angeles a safer place. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to work with your friends and family and bring public safety on this issue. This message will self-destruct in three seconds. <laughs>